Hi guys, you're welcome to the 13th model of this particular playlist. Uh, we'll be talking about the settings fragment. Whereby we'll be creating uh, a class uh, called the settings fragment. Uh, this serves as the display for all of the user settings. Uh, in the weather app, the user will be able to change their preference for units of measurement from metric to imperial. They're going to be able to set their preferred weather location and indicate whether or not they would like to see notifications. Uh, please notify, please take note that if you're using our dummy weather services, the location return will always be Monte View, California. Uh, so you're going to create a settings fragment and extend the preference fragment compact. This uh, extends, and you implement the shared preferences on shared preference change listener, you know. So you're going to create a method called the set preference summary. Uh, this method uh, accepts a preference and an object and sets the summary appropriately. Uh, it accepts the preference and the object value, which is in, always in the key value pairs. You should get to understand what that means. So we have the string value, uh, which is uh, a string, and we have the key, which is the preference, and you get the key uh, of each preference. So the if uh, statement will look like this. If the preference is an instance of the list preference, you know, so there's a for list preference, you're gonna look up the correct display value in the preference entries list, since they have the separate labels of values. Uh, we have the list preference being instantiated, uh, where we have the prefix index, you know, that's all, uh, there's another if statement here, if the preference index is greater than or equals to zero, uh, the preference is you're going to set the summary uh, by getting the entries and the preference index. Else, this if is actually a nested if uh, statement which is right sitting inside the preference instance of the list preference. Else, uh, for other preferences, you're going to set the summary to the value simple string representation. How about we have the set summary to the string value? Uh, we're going to override the uncreate preference and add uh, the preference XML file using the add preferences from the resources. Uh, what about we have the bundle, um, the string? Uh, we're going to add a general preference, which is the add preferences from a resource, which is the XML preference general. Let's get to look at that. Uh, the XML, the preference general uh, XML. Uh, let's get to look at the text. Uh, this is a preference screen. Uh, you can look at it clearly. Uh, what about the layers with the night match appearance? We have the edit text preference. What about we have the default value uh, string? Uh, the preference location default. Uh, we have the input type, uh, which is text. Uh, we have the key, which is location. And we have the, uh, the single line, which is true. And we have the type two. Which is also location calling from the strings uh, XML. Well, for the list preference, then we talk about the text preference and the list preference. This is the default value, which is what uh, the entries is actually calling from the array, the preference which is options. Uh, we have the entry values and we have the key and the title. The title this time is temperature units. Uh, for the edit text preference, is location. Let's move back to the settings fragment. Uh, now we're going to set the preference summary on each preference that isn't a checkbox uh, preference. Uh, we have for the shared preferences, uh, we get the preference screen, we get the shared preference, and uh, we get the preference screen. How about we get the preference uh, screen method? Uh, we have the count, you know, so count for each uh, the preference screen, and they get preference count. We have a for loop here. We have the counter, the when i is equals to zero and uh, the argument if i is less than count and the iteration you add one to i so if the loop is going through what's going to happen we're going to create an object of p from the preference and we check for the instance of this to the check checkbox preference to set the value you know you get the string and the key you know and you set the preference summary passing the p which is the object created from the preference and its value. 
We have the unregistered settings fragment. Uh, this is a shared preference change listener in on stop. So we have the unstop calling the super unstop. We unregister the preference change listener, uh, the get shared preferences, uh, the unregister on shared preference change listener. Uh, we have the unstart. Uh, what about uh, you register the preference change listener? Unlike the way you unregister at unstop. But at start, you have to register it to get the shared preference. To register this time. On shared preference change to update non checkbox preference when they are changed. Uh, that's what this is actually going to do. Test for the null. If, it's, if the preference is null or not equals to null, uh, it's going to check the instance of the checkbox preference. You set the preference summary and uh, you, you get the key. Uh, based on the string you pass you, you get the string and you pass in the key and also the empty quotation uh, Mark that's by appending that to it. And this is definitely uh, the settings fragment. Uh, this is actually very needed as uh, uh, You need to actually uh, implement this and uh, get it to set uh, So that it's going to work with the settings activity All right, uh, that's fine. Uh, we'll be moving to the Tint model whereby we'll be polishing the preferences uh, of this particular application. So stay tuned. <laughs>